close your eyes and gather your mind together. That's what it means when they say the mind is one point. It is gathered around one point. It gives all its interest to one point. But it doesn't have to be a physical point. It can be a section of the body, or you can have two points if you want. But focus on how the breathing feels as it comes in, as it goes out, because the mind needs a foundation. Otherwise it gets blown around by all the events that surround it, not only here and right around you, but also the things that come in through the news. If we let ourselves get blown around like that, we're, we're just like little scraps of pa paper blowing in the wind. Who knows where they're going to fall down. His mind says you want, <coughs> excuse me, as the Buddha says, you want your mind to be like a stone pillar. Sixteen spans tall, eight spans buried down in the ground. So the wind blows, it's not blown around by them, by the winds. In other words, the wind of gain, the wind of loss, status, loss of status, praise, criticism, pleasure, pain. These things are blowing in all sorts of different directions. And if you don't have a good ground, you get blown around by them. Your sense of right and wrong gets skewed, and who knows where you're going to end up. But if you plant yourself right here and have a strong sense of what's important, what's not important, what's your responsibility, what's not your responsibility, then it's easy to offer very little resistance to the wind. And the, wind the wind blows, but you're not affected by it. And that way the mind can be at its peace, have a sense of stability, a sense of well-being inside that it can protect. It doesn't get scattered by the wind. So try to stay right here. Whatever thoughts come in, even little thoughts coming in, they can blow you away. If that's the case, then what happens when something really big happens? You want to make sure you're not blown away by anything, little or big. It's only then that you can really trust yourself, because otherwise when you get blown upside down, your sense of right and wrong gets turned backwards, and who knows what you end up doing. But when you're right side up like this, set firmly tall. And you know what's north, what's south, east, west. In other words, you know what's right and what's wrong, and you have the strength to do what's right, to avoid what's wrong. That's when you can trust yourself. <laughs>